Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I have massive, massive news for you. I just got a call from Andy Sheckman and he shared this link with me. I'm sharing it to you right now as soon as I can get this video out. I pulled over on the side of the road. I'm out here, let's do this. It is entitled, Russia and China officially announces a new global reserve currency. And to say that this is massive, massive news, it is an, un that is the understatement of a half a century. And I say half a century because a half a century ago, 50 years ago, Saudi Arabia inked a historical deal with the United States to sell oil in dollars. And we saw that go away, right? Because now they've inked a deal with Russia. And I've been talking about these uh, seven and 10 year cycles. I've also been talking about 50 year and 100 year cycles over the last year and a half, almost two years now that I've been on YouTube. And I've been telling you about how Russia and China are splitting apart the world into two economies right now. And what you think is happening right now with the strength of the dollar is completely a lie. It is false. All you have seen for the last couple of years is the dollar strengthening against a basket of currencies. And even Russia came out when uh, the world tried to crash the ruble and they turned around and said, oh, you want to see something? Well, watch this because they have and China have all of the power. I cannot explain that in any other way because they have all of the real wealth of the world. Real true wealth is land, water, Natural resources like oil, precious metals like gold and silver, they own it all. They have, both Russia and China, for the last over a decade, have been purchasing gold like you would not believe. They have been trying to grab uh, assets all around the world so that they can help control other countries' natural resources. And they've been doing this through the BRICS uh, nations of uh, uh groups of nations that have been coming together. And we have just seen Saudi Arabia announce that they're uh, part of the BRICS. Now, just so you know, the official announcement hasn't come out, but this is how it works geopolitically. They come out and they say, we're thinking about it. Just so you know, it's already done. They wouldn't come out and announce that. They just want to like, like inch in going, hey guys, the world just changed. So let's read this. I'm going to link this story below. And again, I'm getting it out to you as soon as possible. This is historic news. If there was ever a better there's never been a better reason to own gold at this point. And, and you know what's funny? I don't look at the fluctuations in price, okay? Because when things happen, they happen like that. And do I think that uh, Monday come Monday, gold's gonna explode in price you know, in dollar terms? No, I do not. Do I think it's gonna be manipulated more? Yes, because a sinking ship, what do the rats do as the ship is sinking? They're all fighting each other and screaming all the way down and trying to kick them down under the boat so that they can save themselves. And that's what's happening with the US dollar and the Euro. Okay, I want people to understand that. The world has now officially split economically. It's a big deal, all right? All right, now, here we go. It says China and Russia are taking their shot at the US dollar. And as often happens with uh, consequential news in the United States and the West, no one seems to notice or even care. Well, guess what? Ninja Nation knows, because I'm getting this out to you as soon as possible. And we've been talking about this, saying the, the West, both Europe and the US, have, are getting separated from the entire world because Russia, India, China, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and many more countries are coming together and pooling their resources and they're trading outside the dollar. Everything you see today with that DXY is a scam. It is literally why the book, The Wizard of Oz was written. There's a dude with, you know, it's in the Green Emerald City, just pulling the, the, the ropes and trying to get you to see what's over here when behind, they're trying their hardest to save themselves. All right, I cannot be more <sighs> real about this. This is exciting stuff, to be honest with you, <laughs> because I'm going to be honest with you. I think that people are going to be dumping dollars like you wouldn't believe to jump into this because they own, they, they have the agreements with all these countries around the world that are real, true producers. Remember, America is not a producer anymore, right? This last administration made clear of that, all right? Oh, you want to be energy independent? Nope. Kick it to the curb. Let's, let's go buy stuff. We're not a producing nation right now. We have more red, we produce red tape. That's what we produce, red tape and crap. That's, that's all we do. And then we buy from everybody else because we've been printing in, uh, money like crazy into oblivion and we've been exporting our inflation. And then the Federal Reserve has been hiding the inflation, being able to hide it because they're buying these assets with more printed money and then storing them away so that the velocity of money isn't at a, a pace to where it causes real inflation. But now inflation has gotten out of the bag. And that's what the Fed just trying, I mean, they can't even sell assets. 
They can't. The velocity of money will pick up too fast. It is absolutely incredible. So it says right here, what may surprise some people, however, is that Russia and the BRICS countries, including Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are officially working on their own new global reserve currency. RT reported in late June, nobody even seemed to notice. It says the issue of creating an international reserve currency based on a basket of currencies of our countries is being worked on. And that was straight from Vladimir Putin. This is huge, huge news. Guys, when they announce it, it's done. We're doing it. And you're going to start to see over the next 90 days, some rattling in the markets, both in Europe and the United States. Why? Because there are people that are trading in those markets, countries that are going... Nope, we're going over here. We know what you guys are doing. We know what the US has been doing and Europe's been doing to, to smother uh, these other countries for literally a century. And we're moving over here because we know there's today there's a promise of prosperity. Is that gonna last forever? No, but for right now, that's what it is. It says, in the meantime, Russia is also taking other steps to strengthen the alliance between BRICS nations, including rerouting, rerouting trade to China and India, according to CNN. Guys, this is all over the map. If you don't get it, you need to wake up today, okay? You could sit there all day long in your house, it's like going up in value, and you have no idea what's happening is your currency is failing you. See, when things go up in value, and it's, it's one thing to say we're in a housing bubble and you know it's, it's because of low interest rates and all that stuff. But right now you have housing going up, food going up, energy going up, everything's going up. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the dollar's crap and it's losing value. It takes more dollars today to buy the same stuff as it did yesterday. That means your currency is failing, all right? I don't know how much more I can emphasize this. Now, what do you do about it? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, wealthy people, they're out buying gold. Uh, they're out buying silver. I was just talking to Andy. I was gonna do an interview later this week how uh, a billionaire just contacted and um, just, you know, my, my friend, I'm gonna put a link below, is a broker with Andy and I've been asking her what she's been seeing in the market. And there are people of means that are buying much larger positions in physical gold and physical silver, right? They're not caring about the price. Andy came out and just uh, announced that he sold, what, $50 million worth of silver eagles. And the person, the lady that bought it from him said, I want you to tell the world that I am planning on putting a billion dollars, up to a billion dollars into this asset and I want the world to know. That is your shot across the bow. Wealthy people all around are picking up gold and silver. Wealthy countries, and they are wealthy, China and Russia, if you think they're poor, you got another thing coming to you. Because I'm gonna tell you what, there's been a lot of propaganda and lies out there by the mainstream media, because they don't want you to know exactly what's going on. And yeah, is China's property bubble broken? Yes. So what do they do? Like Gerald Salente says, will all fallouts fails? They take you to war. Well, guess what, guys? There's not just a war with tanks and guns, it's a war with dollars, yuan and rubles. It's an economic war. And I'm gonna tell you what, if you're not ready for it, you're gonna have a big surprise. I know lots of people in the last uh, six months that have lost 25% of their 401k. Boing, gone. Are you guys gonna be prepared for that? Look, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just doing the bro hawk and a dream and a McDonald's coffee. But what am I doing right now? I'm vaulting gold. I like silver more than gold, but gold is more stable in price than silver. And I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I'm not putting everything into it. You don't put everything into anything. You diversify, but you need to have a plan. You need to be well diversified. Wealthy people own gold, so I own gold. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. You all are awesome. The Economic Ninja is out.